I spend my summers at the Winsnest Fly Fishing Lodge on the Gowler River in Norway, where I'm a co-owner along with my wife, Anna Marie. Our family summers are glorious affairs in which we share our traditional Norwegian farmhouse with salmon fishing guests from overseas. I should also mention that we control the fishing on arguably the best four kilometres of one of the best salmon rivers in the world. Our days are spent working around the lodge, socialising with the guests and in my case spending as much time by the river as possible. We always anticipate the beginning of the season, but this year I was particularly worried about the poor snowfall from last winter and a very warm spring. My fears were realised when, on opening day, the river was at perfect midsummer height. Note that I said midsummer, not beginning of season height. Not that the fears about the future prevented us from fishing. As the river continued to shrink, the fresh run bars of silver continued to come and for a while the fishing held up. By the end of June, however, the warning signs were there. The river had shrunk to record lows for the month and was becoming increasingly warm, a grave concern because salmon are particularly susceptible to high water temperatures. At the moment, it's in a bit of a sorry state. We're having a very, very dry year and the river is very, very low. So the fishing's pretty tough. But with a rain shower, everything can change. Record lows for all time were looming and record highs in terms of water temperature were only just around the corner. July, and the water continued to evaporate almost daily. We continued to catch fish but the fishing was confined very much to the darker hours. In the daytime, it was just simply too hot. By the end of July, the river authorities closed the river for fishing until further notice, because water temperatures had reached a critical level. Fortunately, much prayed for rain arrived a few days later, and suddenly the river was alive again and open again. In the middle of August, we've had a lot of rain. The river temperature has come down to about 12 degrees centigrade, which in my book is absolutely perfect. But anyway, we decided to fish last night on an old favourite, the old bridge pool. It's a wonderful pool, but it's moody. It's not the sort of pool that fishes under every water condition, but I knew last night that the water was perfect. And it was even more exciting when I actually hooked a fish on the first cast. The take was a classic. I literally had only got about half of the fly line out and I felt one pull, then another, and then it all drew tight and the reel started clicking. I raised the rod and there she was, a really nice salmon. Not the freshest of fish, I'll admit that, but a good fighter. And in that pool, at that height, a really strong flow running, that fish fought like crazy. And then, of course, it went airborne as well, spinning and twisting in the air, a little bit like a tarpon. For the gowler, it was a medium-sized salmon, probably weighing around four or probably five kilos, that sort of size. And when salmon have been in the river for a while, they go a very kind of pewter colour. And the longer they've been in the river, the darker they get. I had another crack at it. Well, I got four casts in this time, and then all of a sudden, the line just came tight. Classic style, it was a nice cast, it all tightened up, and I got a big heavy answering weight on the other end. This fish went pretty well airborne right from the off and it was a nasty fish. Boy, did it fight. It was bigger than the first one, that was for sure. Yeah, it was obvious really that it was a heavier fish. Just by the runs it was making, it was really tenacious in that strong flow. And I had a right old game landing it, I don't mind telling you. It made several jumps and every time it did, it was testing the leader to the absolute limit. But the knots held, everything held together and thankfully, eventually, I managed to steer the fish into the edge where there was quite a strong flow. And so I had quite a bit of difficulty trying to net it on my own. Everything went really well. A bigger fish this time, probably about seven and a half kilos, something like that. 
Again, quite a coloured fish, been in the river a while, but really deep, beautiful salmon, and what a remarkable fight it was. And just when we thought it couldn't get any better, the peak to the whole season came one fabulous day in the last but one week of August, when on the same day my wife Anna Marit caught her first salmon and our guest Alan Zuthin from Denmark caught and released a 120 centimetre, 40 pounds plus salmon. To cap things off, I sneaked a 20 pounder myself in the evening. It really was a red letter day to end what had been a topsy-turvy season. Like I said, Every cloud's got a silver lining.